Monday, August 5th, the, the Moore Town Select Board. We've got a full board. We've got Carol subbing tonight for Sasha doing the minutes. Um, we let Sasha take a night off. And um, we got a fairly short agenda, but um, we got plenty of time to talk about whatever we need. So we're going to start with a general public comment. So if there's anyone out there that just wants to chat or give us a comment, please do. But please just state your name so Carol can have it for the, the minutes. Yes, sir. And speak up so that. Uh yeah, we're on the line a little bit too. There's two members, just so close. We have two members yeah. virtually. We're not yeah. seeing oh, yeah. <laughs> So, Don, and Tom, we've got Callie, John, and Robin. Mm -hmm. There's two online. Good evening to you all. Thank you. Hey, um, my name is Don Leonard. This is Elsa Sigmund, my wife. We live on 1418 Moortown Mountain Road. Um, first thing I want to do is just thank everybody in the town and especially the road crew for all the fast work at just stabilizing things after a um, you know, big storm last month and there has been a, uh, we were one of the houses that got a lot of the landslide in our yard and so there was um, a lot of material to remove and a lot of it has been removed most of it so that that's fantastic and it's just amazing how quickly that was all done um, there is a little bit of uh, issue now with our driveway because it was just done really quick just so we could get in and out of our driveway um, and we just want to make sure that we don't jump the gun and do something on our own sure that will interfere with what the plans are uh, eventually um, and then we're not really sure about you know what's the homeowner's responsibility and what's the town's responsibility and where does that lie so we're kind of ill-informed about all that, but we don't want to make a mistake and spend money when we don't have to, or sure. mess up something that, that uh, others that are better suited to do, um, do. So, I'm just asking if there are a way to um, guide, you know, put us sure. in touch with somebody who can guide us on that. Absolutely. Well, thank you for coming in. Um, if you don't mind, could you tell me your names again? Yes, Don Weiner, W-E-N-N-E-R. And Ilsa, I-L-S-E, Sigmund. S-I-G-N-U-N-D. All right, thank you. I don't hear so well sometimes. Yeah, so, uh, I, well, I, we appreciate you coming in and taking the time to come in to try to look for those answers. Uh, some of those we're still looking for mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, this is uh, Ray uh, Washburn. You may or may not know Ray. He's, he's our consultant here that we've hired. Uh, and Ray is consulting both with, uh, for us, but working with FEMA and the state as well. Um, and so really, and there's a number of issues that we have going on and, and you're not by yourself at all, by all sure. means. And so that's why I appreciate actually someone coming in and asking the questions and while we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Uh, you know, we, we've had some policies in, in place, but uh, I'm not sure they're working. Like, uh, for instance, the, the size of the culverts, you know, you know, do we need to upsize the size of the culverts Whose responsibility is that? You know how do you know? It's, it's a generally a homeowner's responsibility, but if we're going to require it now, and five years ago we had a permit that you know, we gave you a permit that said 18 was okay. How do we how do we work that? So we're trying to figure out how we mitigate problems going forward, how we fix lots that we have now, um, and where all the responsibilities lie, and where we can get assistance um, to help. Uh, homeowners or, or the town itself. Um, so I, I, I don't have any uh, definitive answers as far mm -hmm. as what you can technically do right now. Um, although we're pursuing it as you know, I, I speak or have been pursuing it. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ray's, uh, we're reaching out or have reached out to both the state and FEMA for some guidance on this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what are other towns doing? Um, you know, how do we? fix these situations that we have. Uh, I know there is some certain responsibility that we have. Where does that lie? Um, you know, we want to make sure it's fair for both the homeowners, for the town, and for the town as a whole. Mm -hmm. So it would it be too early if we if we brought if we brought in a landscaper to sort of I, you know what? That's where you know what. So what I and 
I think I would, this is where I would ask Ray to get involved, to maybe visit your property. And he could give some advice and say, well, this is definitely something that would be responsibility that you should do that is not going to need to be changed in five months or need yeah, to be wiped good. out or, or changed um, so that you're not spending good money after bad, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd make that commitment and raise, yeah. you know, he can give you contact information and set up a time with you to yeah. figure those type of things out. In the meantime, we're trying to figure out, we oh, will, we need yeah. to come up with yeah, and I'm sure that, I mean, this is not an hurt, you know. Yeah. We can get water in the house where everybody's safe, but it is a little treacherous going in and out of our driveway. And, and for people coming up and down. So, uh, 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 I, uh, I know the, uh, I know the road crew is going to be grading tomorrow, and oh. I think more town mountain is yes. on the list. Okay. And generally when they grade, they grade an apron at every driveway to the edge of right away, which is 25 feet off the road. And then, I, I don't know where, mm -hmm. not looking at the driveway, mm -hmm. the work is beyond that 25 feet off the road. Mm -hmm. if it, but if it's in that apron, they generally will grade the driveway, uh, the apron, to, get, to match the road. So. We, we, we've just been hearing a lot of different things from a lot of different people. Some cement blocks coming, and we lost a lot of the property when they put, when you, yeah, I, I, I really don't know. Whatever, I mean, yeah. just, yeah. we just, that's a new one to us. We've heard a lot, too. We just don't know what, no, it's what good. you move or not move, right? So, so but, um, well, that's a good stuff for Ray to just combine. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I, I mean, think that would put eyes on it. Yeah, we'll see what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it might be something we want to say, wait, and I will give you a call. Okay. Do you know where we are? Yeah, where, where are you? Exactly. You're getting the address. So, so you can call. it's the last house on the right before you get to Howes Road. So okay. we're right above the turn bus. Yeah, I know where it is. Of so course, when you go to the top of the house. Well, I buy it where all the, it's almost been like this in the earth burn building. Well, it, right, that was something that um, came after, afterwards. It right. used to be like that. Right, but, well. But there was so much material to move out of. Well, that the door just came down. And, Laura, I'll be with you in just a second. So, anyway, we appreciate that. would be great if we just had some a contact with somebody from the Okay. Are you going to call there? Ray Washburn? Yeah. So, I'll give you a call. I'm uh, kind of watching the parking lot here, too. Yeah. Hold one second. I'm going tomorrow. Probably around 9 o'clock or so. I'll, I'll give you a call. Maybe I can spring up there sometime before noon. That'd, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give you yeah. a call. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sir. Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Kevin Sweeney. I study E E N E Y. Um, I reside at uh, 71 Edge Drive, uh, across from Majestic Auto. Uh, I came really. Um, I one really primary question, but more just uh, look and see what assistance is available. It's a private drive. Um, I would like, if I could, share this photo with you. I'm familiar. Um, you know I actually, photos? Yeah, I've done photos. I've seen the, an aerial of it as well. So I saw, saw the drone, and I think I, I'd ask Ray to go. Have you seen this one? Well, that, was our, that was our private road. That was Edge Drive. Wow. Now that giant golden, I don't know what to call it. Um, a can, a can, a can, and, no. <laughs> and now the, 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 the original book is now coming underground, right into that road. So, understanding after speaking with Ben to John that um, it is necessary first to handle the flow of water before any repair of the road can happen. Right. Right. Um, my neighbors at 75, and my wife and I do not have vehicle access to our homes any longer. We've managed to get our cars off the road for one-time use, uh, but we're both dependent on fuel deliveries in the winter, and this is a very massive project, and we recognize that. So I had, Carol was kind enough to come on and make a, a visit um, a couple of weeks ago, helped submit a grant, EWPP, I'm trying to, which was the water mitigation. Right, it's a mitigation. Right. There's no repair money available no. for that grant program, but they will look at potential mitigation measures to prevent 
so we can't fix the road and right. have a reoccurrence, make a permanent fix. So, um, so that's really yeah. just coming into the you know that is kind of daunting for us. We <coughs> just have a child of 10 and under two. Uh, the only way we're able to access our property right now is through kind of a ski path in the woods. Uh, the Waterbury crew people, the um, crew resilience, yes. yeah. yes. oh, yeah. um, they are actually working with us to put steps in as a temporary basis, just because right now it's walking up mud and dirt. Yeah, right. right. Walking down the canyon, you mean? To, to no, we trail. actually. Through the woods, oh, to through the woods, woods down the, the property. Trail. Oh, okay. And it's on uh, that actual path, is, is part of our property. Um, and it's, we're also on the ravine. Uh, yeah. But it's fully treated, and right now it doesn't seem to be correct. I don't think it ever really will be. But, so it's really that, and just ask if. You know, when when the visit is that's required for that grant to happen, just that it's looked at um, by the town's priority for yeah, us. Absolutely. The other, um, did you see the, the link that Cheryl Lynn had sent out for home? That's, is that, that the link? Is that's that it, and that's only for water mitigation. They okay. do not help uh, private roads. Okay. We've applied uh, for a few grants. Yeah. We're applying everywhere right now. Um, and the whole, I don't know how familiar you are with the cause of it, but it was a block culvert pipe installed by Velcro that diverted. It was totally clogged, and the, and the water started coming down that hill very early. And that evening at 8.36, a big chunk of the road was already gone. And the, it kept raining for another three and a half hours at that point. And I do understand from Ben John that there was a, a, a pretty major event further up the hill. Um, that brought down a lot of debris, um, which at that point totally covered over the culvert pipe and put the water everywhere. Yeah. Um, but uh, prior to that happening, the water was already being diverted out of that away from the culvert pipe down the road. I didn't even know there was a culvert <laughs> pipe until the next morning. So this is above you guys. It's above the sun's office property. So it's my situation. We're new, to, we're new, we're a year and more time. We love it here. So, <laughs> sorry. Is, is Velcro, yeah. uh, have you made, reached out to them? Or they we have, we right reached out to Velcro. Um, Velcro. Uh, and Velcro is kind of going, yeah, we'll send people, we'll send people. And uh, so I recommend you reach out to media. So I talked to a reporter and Velcro. Um, he called Velcro and within an hour I had an email from Velcro, they had people up the next day. So it's so kind of a push. Since that time, there have been two other visits, and the last thing I heard from the person in charge of right of ways is that they had hired a uh, hydro hydrologist, hydrologist. Uh, a firm to come in and assess what exactly needs to be done to address the water issue. That's a good start. It's a good start. I just don't know if they have the urgency that we need. Yeah. I. Will they help fill, do you get a sense that they'll help fill the... What they said in the email when she told me, she goes, we really feel bad, we know this is a horrible problem, we hope you're successful in getting this grant money. Mm -hmm. So that's, they're, they're being very careful in what they are. Yeah. Right. You're right. They don't, which I understand. Right. And I expect that. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any answers, I'm sorry. No, no I understand. I appreciate just giving me an opportunity to... Just yeah. Speak. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Tom, can, can, I, can I ask a few questions? You may. Uh, what, what, what grants have you applied for? I don't remember the exact John, name. can you just tell who you are? Oh, yeah. My name is John Schultzer, and I'm on the Planning Commission, but I used to, to be at the Department of Environmental Conservation. Okay. And I worked a lot with, with uh, the folks from the NRCS, which, which run the EWP program. So, so I just want to make sure that, that you, have you contacted the EWP folks? Actually, that's Carol has helped. Carol can speak for that, really. Did, did you con contact Mike? I contacted Mike. I heard today from a woman named Allie, who is okay. going to do the site visit. I just heard from her today and just arranged with Ray. We're going to do the site visit on Friday. Perfect. That, that's going to get them. And they're very straightforward. They'll tell you whether they can help you or not. And, and then, but what that will require, though, if, if, if it is possible to go down that path, it requires a local sponsor 
We do that. Yeah. So those are the local sponsors of the town. The town, right? And so we we apply for the grant, yeah, we and put the money out, and then it gets reimbursed to us yeah. eventually. And this, we're doing it. It, it could be really hard uh, for a lot of uh, some towns aren't familiar with that. Unfortunately, we are because mm -hmm. we've done it a number of times. But I, that's what I want to make sure. I just want to make sure that you got all, all the information. So at least you can figure out where you stand. You're right. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, ben, did, he had mentioned another grant uh, when we were talking with him, but then came back and emailed uh, Martha Douglas to go out and email uh, the information about the WPP, and that's what she called. Okay. And then that also going to be doing for us. So okay. I'm very grateful for that assistance. And, and we probably want that information from Ben about the water bringing debris down from up above for when we do that. The site visits. So yeah, I um, too, because it's looking at more than that culvert. I guess. It's looking at more than culvert. Um, it, it's it's a pretty big climb <laughs> to get up to the top, but there's other areas up top where it's split up, where um, we've noted trees that have been take, taken down and left up there, and that there's a lot of other things up there. Some riprats, some eh, riprats. That's all the rock, right? I'm not a civil engineer, um, but there's a lot of other things up there. I haven't been able to make it up there at a long condition that, you know, I, I can, it might take me an hour where other people yeah. can in 10 minutes. Well, it's not 90 um, degrees out, probably. <laughs> the humidity has to know. It's difficult. Um, but I think for that site, that, that would be absolutely um, important to go up to that level. Um, and I I can be present in Tom, I believe like that Tom has walked it couple of times already. He said access through not there's another road access to it that's you easier to get to. No the next one over he said yeah I think that was it but I can I can get you all that information by email. Okay. Okay. Good. So thank you. Thanks John. Um and, and thank thanks you, as you can see we're certainly um willing to work with everyone in trying to do what we can and we'll be solely on the lookout for more opportunities. Right. Well I'm very grateful that and I thank you because I know it's a private road, it's really but on behalf of all seven, the seven homes were affected by this. Thank you. Yeah. You got it. John, were you here for how I'm here to hear what Ray has to say about roads. All right. <laughs> you don't want to hear about that. <laughs> heard it already. Michelle, how about yourself? Uh, just a quick Marcus update. All right. Uh, the Bake Off this year is an <clears throat> excuse me, apple showdown. So apple, apple showdown. themed, apple pie category, apple cake category, other apple desserts. So I'm looking for judges from the select board if anyone wants to be involved. Don, I know you don't want to. I can't. <laughs> don't, don't. I can't. Also, no, right, too I much pressure. Pie, so <laughs> I'm be a judge of the too pie. much sugar. <laughs> I was going to say, Ray would definitely do the pie. Right. What's the. Uh, What's the date again? The 7th. September 7th. Count me out as a judge this year, by the way. Oh, Clark, come on. <laughs> oh, Clark is coming out of town. I'm going to be late, so unfortunately, so. But yeah. normally I would we'll be happy to. Yeah. I, I, might, here. I want to hear, hear what he has to say, too. I got one more meeting. I oh, very interesting. How about uh, John? Are you going to be a judge this year, John, for apple pie? John will eat everything. He'll be a judge for everything. We know that. <laughs> I always just put John down. That's, you just know that. I saw it, um, Stefan had a, an announcement about the fireworks. Yes. So yep, same fireworks, same band, most of the same food. Uh, we've been working on automating our process this year, so like an application went out to everybody who's been at Morefest, and now it's going to go out on the front porch forum. So we'll be able to fill all the spots that we have and like look at all the applications at one time. Oh, nice, great. Yeah, the, the big change I think that you'll notice is the perimeter of the beer tent is going to encompass all of Morefest, you know, at least the, the main field instead of like just a small area, which a lot of people kind of go around a little bit more. There'll be, you know, physical bracelets and canned beer and wine so you can see, you know, what everybody has and make sure. Perfect. Yeah. I think nice. that's a good idea. That kind of, what was the name of the band again? Because they were really good. Those two couple guys from town, right? Um, Try to put you on the spot. Yeah. They're not. They're not from our town. Are they? Um, they're Red River. Red River or something, right? Yeah. yeah. They were great, and I so they, they agreed to come back. Um, All right. Eric won't be doing the pig 
weeks this year, but the food business grade will still be doing pulled pork sandwiches. Oh, nice. Yeah. It will look very much like usual. Let's we'll just have nice weather. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Fingers crossed, right? Yeah. Do what you can. All right, so um, if we are done with comments, public comment, we will look here and make sure. And all right, so we have in Laura's got her, her hand up, but we're moving on to uh, the next meeting uh, item is the um, Mad River Valley River District discussion. So, Laura, how are you? Well, Tom, I'm glad to join you guys, and um, thanks for putting this topic on the agenda. And I. I don't know if you guys know this, but this year is the 30th anniversary of the Rep District. So we've been going for three decades and glad you're thinking about talking about joining us. Yeah, I think, well, it's, um, sorry, I know we've had a couple of discussions that we've had it put off, but with, you know, with stuff in town, the way it's going, the priorities have, have come up um, and put that kind of towards the bottom. So. I have taken an opportunity to read everything. I think most of the board members I've asked to do that as well. Um, so why don't we get a little bit of discussion going here. Don, why don't you start? What's your thought with the proposal? Um, I think it's a worthwhile pursuit for the town to pursue. I think there's, you know, definitely a lot of, you know, a lot of people in Moortown taking advantage of using the facilities. Um, I know, well, I guess it's really going to be till next March before we really, it's going to be voted on, I guess, a town meeting, or is it something that we'll decide, or um, as far as the funding of it? For the, well, because it is, it's... Uh, it would be an article, I guess? Yeah, right? it would have to be an article, because right. of the amount of up the cost. Right. Right. right, it's nothing that we can make. So, okay. okay. Um, you know, we certainly have a, you know, a lot of things to deal with right now at the moment, you know, in terms of, you know, after surviving the flood and the, all the funds that are going to be, that we don't know about. Right. It's a big loan that we've just taken. And, but uh, I think it's definitely worth pursuing and it should be something that we present to uh, the community and, and, you know, maybe between now and, you know, have it be an article and then between now and then have do some community outreach or and maybe Laura could come to more fest or something and yeah. have something there or you know we can just try to start to get it out there and talk about it at the pre-town meeting and and you know yeah. uh, maybe share some of the data I don't know if there, some of the information that Laura gave us and the stats of what's going on and what what the funding does and and what our joining will, will accomplish, um, you know, maybe get some kind of flyer together so that we could get it out to the community. Yeah, I was going to say we could perhaps get a mailing together or whatever Something sometime, like you know, yeah, before town meeting day or whatever. Yeah, we'll get the word out a little bit. Kelly, what's your thought? Quiet there. I think it's a good idea. I think we have a lot of people in the area that utilize the services as Don said. And I think, you know, keeping that opportunity open for everyone is is a good idea. John, any thoughts? Why don't you turn your mic on or good yeah. yeah, I think it's definitely a good idea. Um, we have a lot of uh, kids that partake in that, so I think it would be really a good idea. No, I, I think I agree with you guys, although, you know, we have a lot of recreation here that everyone from everywhere else comes and enjoys. Um, and I think, what are we paying now? Uh, we do pay, um, I think it was uh, almost 3000 3000 uh, now. Um, and that's going to continue, too. This is on top well, of 3000 Just to be clear, the way that works is, is um, what we've asked Moortown is to become a half member. The uh, Warren, Wastefoot, and Faiston currently pay $40,000 a year. Some of that is used for Mad River Park. You guys are paying the 3000 toward Mad River Park, um, but the 
you would go up by 17,000 if you uh, agree to become a half member. And, and we did that obviously taking into consideration that, you know, there's the five sides of Moortown and people are, are going in different directions sometimes. And to be fair that you don't have as much of a, a business infrastructure as the other towns, but about a quarter of the kids use, use sports and we, you know, the, other towns are giving away more than ten thousand dollars a year to help subsidize those, as well as subsidizing, um, well, not subsidizing, but you know, supporting Couples Field and uh, the stadium, all the different trails groups. So there, there's a lot to it. And you know, for the thirty years, the other towns have been, um, you know, supporting in a in a pretty big way. What um, is there? cap per year as far as when it goes up or how do you how do you do that good question yeah we um we every well we don't raise it very often um it was raised uh more recently because i'm the first staff member and they needed to uh be able to hire somebody and you know pay insurance and different things that go along with my uh halftime position uh so we we if if we were to raise it uh, at some point in the future, it goes to the towns to either vote on or have the select board uh, increase. And typically, we've increased by a few thousand dollars, or the biggest increase was a ten thousand dollar increase with this position. But you know that it's unlikely that it would go up that much. And we have we give away over fifty thousand in our grant program. So if we had the extra funds from more town we'd be giving away more money which any of the entities in more town could uh apply for grants so you know you'd be kind of self-funding some of some of that that each year we get you know between 10 and 15 grant applications and um we do a good job of spreading the money out and supporting the things that are truly public recreation Sometimes we get, you know, a daycare wanting a new playground, but it's not open to the public. And so if that's a decision that, you know, we, we try and stay focused on things that are open to the public. But obviously all the infrastructure in Moortown um, is is open to everybody in the Valley. So. So that would open us up to, I mean, we would be eligible for some of that, those grants is what you're saying. Yeah, and we thought, it, yeah, you just have, would have to become a member first. Uh, so, if this gets voted on at town meeting, then it would, you know, next year. The yeah, I mean, year. for some of our for some of our yeah. recreational yeah. stuff that we have going, our paths and the bike park back there, or whatever. Yeah, right. And sometimes, you know, maintenance or enhancements or new new programs. I mean, it, it's possible that. Uh, or events, you know, uh, we sponsor the Mad Marathon because it's good for the economics of the Valley. You know, mm -hmm. Morefest uh, could turn in a, a grant request. I mean, there's there's a lot of options. We're, you know, pretty uh, nimble board of nine people and, and then me and um, grants are always due November 1st. So, if you know, you would be eligible for 2026. So if you, you know, vote in 2026 to join, then you, you, know, you could submit grants even before you you know paid us the first year as a member perfect um good you know i'm it's board meeting but i'm willing to take any comment from the galley here on this anyone any thoughts joining them in no all right well i um i'll go around, along with my colleagues here um who all think it's a good idea i, I do as well um so i guess we will go ahead and for this uh, coming March uh, election or, or uh, town meeting, we will put it on as a, an article to support uh, the Mad River Valley Rec District for the sum of uh, twenty thousand a year. Great. Tom, can I jump? Can I jump in? Yeah. The light yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I'd uh, put a thumbs up to this too. Uh, I think it's you know, especially there's a fair amount of more town kids that participate, so. Um, the one thing that I would suggest, Laura, is um, making sure, and I'm sure you do this with other towns, is providing as much detailed information about how this, this, uh, how many uh, more town people get um, 
get involved with with the rec district. Um, that that'll go a long way at the town meeting uh, in order to help people support it. Yeah, thanks. We we do have a document. We, we looked at youth sports, but I can try and do that with the trails groups and and other people. You know, it, whether or not everybody tracks things is another question. But I, I think that's a, a good thing for us to keep in mind. And and we'll certainly do you know some PR in advance of the town meeting to you know make sure people understand you know, uh, you know, the extra 17,000 spread out among all of your residents, you know, is, is, is kind of a, it's not a big amount of money, and, but it's important that everybody's on board and they know what they're getting for it and the ability to get grants in the future and, and be, you know, the equity of being part of the other towns and the rec district that, you know, we're all working together. So thank you. Opportunity. Laura, if you'll read... Let's reconnect maybe in the fall or something, totally. you know, sure. just individually. Maybe we can talk about something that we could start to get out there to people, you know, uh, in January or December, just to yeah. have people learn about it or something, rather than waiting that, just to March. That could be sure, a great. controversial Thank issue, you. too, for the town meeting. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. Sure. Generally, these types of things pass pretty pretty easily, yeah. but the more information you have, yeah. it actually takes it makes it easier it makes for us it, to you know, explain it. Know about it. Yeah. As long as they have the information, it's pretty well supported. Yeah. But I'd like to thank you for uh, your patience with us, Laura. Um, sure. And uh, have a good night. Thanks. We want to make it easy for everybody to vote yes in March, so we'll, we'll work hard on that. Thank you so much, you guys. You yeah. too. Good night. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. All right, so uh, we're moving right ahead to Mr. Washburn. <laughs> Washburn, yes. Ray, I know you're not used to Mr., so go ahead. <laughs> uh, well, uh, the good news is I think we got all the, the roads, town roads open, and uh, I hope all the culverts are open. Um, we, we've spent probably uh, very close to two million dollars the last three weeks on, on repairs. And I would guess that there are several, you know, at least I think a couple large culverts on the mountain road that will need to be uh, upgraded and at least one on the common road. <clears throat> and that's on top of the three left over from the storm last year. So I think between both storms, we're going to be well over five million dollars. So between the last year's storm and this year's storm, we're, we're probably over five million dollars. You know, and some of the some of the stuff is still out to design, like the Lemons Lane stuff and, and uh, Sean's the other COVID on Joe's work. So, um, but the good news is, I think we've had a, a lot of good work from a lot of subcontractors and our road crew to, to get this done to this point. Um, and there, as you know, a lot of outstanding issues, as we talked about, with the, uh, the work that is close to the right of way. We have, uh, we have permits to excavate, to clean out some of the streams, but uh, there's restrictions on that as far as um, Working in the right of way and where the material goes and things like that, uh, we have to work through with the state engineer and landowners because we just can't go on people's land and start tearing down trees and moving our estate. And so that's going to be a, a, a process by itself if we want to go forward with that. Is there funding for that or something? Or well, well something that's, that's, that's we don't know exactly because we're waiting for. For FEMA to, yeah. to address it's this. So but they, they, they made it pretty clear that we could excavate the uh, stream down to what they call a low water level, which removes a lot of the gravel that's come off our roads uh, recently mm -hmm. uh, in, in the streams. And it should be removed. Just how we're going to do it, I don't know. Uh, we did have. Uh, last week, a bid for uh, the culverts up on Lord Brook, which uh, Tom has. Uh, those came in surprisingly uh, under the budgeted amount. So I think we're going to have to go forward with that. Still 640000 
Just the color. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, um, there's not much else to say except that, that you know, everybody's uh, trying to get the, the roads back in operation. But most of the subs have uh, we reduce that staff because uh, we've got to the point where we all emergency repair work is done. Mm -hmm. and so the road crew is just doing some we have, I think, one contractor working this week. We're waiting for a few culverts to come in. Uh, but, uh, basically, the, the uh, sequence is we're, we're trying to get all the Class 3 roads up to what uh, Martin Roadford would say, snowplow level. And then We'll work on class four roads after that. Um, there has been, you know, all the class four roads are passable. Mm. Uh, some are not moderately <laughs> moderately passable, but they're passable. People are able to drive. Yeah, they're able yeah. to drive uh, yeah. in and out. There's some work that needs to be done in those, but certainly uh, the class four roads are taking that priority. Don, did you have a comment or question? Well, just mentioned class three and class four roads. What's the difference? Uh, class three is uh, maintained all year long. Uh, uh, class four is seasonal. Okay. Uh, uh, basically, there's very little maintenance on class one roads. Uh, but it is our town policy that when we have a flood event, like we just had, to restore those class four roads to pre flood condition. Uh, thank you. Um, I, I have one question. Sure, go ahead. So, so, I know there was discussion that uh, if, you, if you did some uh, replacement of the culvert on, on the work book, that maybe that you can go in and improve Hog Hollow to be able to access. But it, it's my understanding that maybe that's not <coughs> needed because uh, you're going to put it in a box instead, or if that's still kind of up in the air. We will still need to shut down the work book. Okay. Okay. Yes, we're still going to okay. build a highway past your house. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, Greg. <laughs> but and, and when do you think that, that could? Uh, I know I, I won't. Well, I will hold you to it. But like, <laughs> when do you think uh, you know, the range would it be this this fall, or would it be the Our, next year? We're really pushing to get those culverts in okay. this fall. Okay. Because if one has already failed, failed. It's failed two years ago. Multiple. It, the original culvert failed last year. We put a temporary culvert in. It failed this year. So, and we put the temporary back in. But we're going to, I think we're going to upgrade that temporary until the box, after the box was in. Okay. Uh, which is going to be sometime. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a moving day. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I have a yeah. Continue, Rick. Uh, uh, just a quick update on the, on the parking lot. It's, it's coming. We had a, a few setbacks with uh, a couple contractor, like a contractor decided that uh, he didn't want to work there anymore. So we found another contractor to come in and take his place. We're still hopeful that uh, we'll be painting sometime next week. It's coming along. There was some very, uh, very bad soil conditions on the, on the bus line, some really bad clay materials. That we had over a street, probably six feet to take out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was something. I don't know if you guys saw the picture of the excavator in the bottom of it. Digging the right got stuck. I asked Ray if that it was his plan. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Not the, not the picture I saw when it was up like that in the pond. That was unusual. It's like something else. Quicksand. Yeah. So as, as a general statement, though, I, I think, and we put this on front porch floor, and then, uh, they are some culverts that, are, that cross the road that need still to be replaced. Uh, that. Uh, we try to give as much warning as we can when the road is going to be closed, but uh, there are certain roads like Cobb Hill and Stevensbrook uh, 
I believe that will be closed uh, for an yeah, hour or two. I don't know how they put their cupboards in. And like I said, we try to give as much notice as we can, but it doesn't always work. We get the notice to everybody. Right, and just things change. And it's yeah, things change. Things take yeah. longer sometimes, but uh, we do the best we can to keep keep the public satisfied. Yeah, but you're doing a good job. Yep. Yeah. Really. Complaints. We're, we're lucky to have you and everyone else uh, do the work. Yeah, thank you. So I guess my question would be just, just so, in terms of doing some of is it is the word dredging? I don't know what the word's called. Um, I but, guess you could call it dredging. Well, I, I don't know. They don't like you call it dredging. I, I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's, it's what? called strategic sediment, emergency sediment, sediment I, removal. Yeah, I'm not, that's sediment what, removal. I'm not trying to, I didn't mean to use that word to be come across negative, I was just right. curious because yeah. it is a, as you said, it's it's a fine line to walk yeah. about, about doing it and I know now the state is saying that we can do some yeah. in some cases and it'll be monitored by the state and stuff, but yeah. um, do we know what I mean, which is it? Are we talking brooks that are going to our class three to? No, see, the, you know, like, uh, like for instance, Jonesburg. There's several places uh, which feeds into the Winooski, uh, Stevensburg. Um, they've even given permits to for the Mad River, but mm. you know uh, that's the Mad River. That's a big job. Dude. That's big, and, and mm -hmm. as we know, there's a Japanese not weaver. Cool. Right, yeah. which would go so crazy. Just keep up with the, the, rings. the Japanese Norway has already gone crazy. Yeah, so it's we don't want to bring that. We can't bring that gravel in. Yeah. 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 Some place where there right. isn't any because yeah. Yeah. it's already that's already happened. Bring gravel, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it it happens. Happens. There's more to it than just taking yeah. gravel out of the river and yeah. put it in some place. Right. Where, 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 where on that are they thinking? Where we hear about the bridge or across the town? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think up here the one library is another. And okay. down towards the Big Rock in that area. Okay. It's not the King Rock Stevens work is right there. Right. Yeah, I mean, those, those are depositional areas. So as long as you're not taking to China, mm -hmm. you know, you're. Right. Yeah. That's the whole idea. Is just I think all those places were cleaned up at Irene. And now you wouldn't know it. I mean, it's. I don't buy Pony Farm yeah. too with a. I mean, Jones, Jones, Jonesburg's like a moonscape now. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. It varies. Yeah, no, I, I could. I, I know some spots just along our road that's. They're yeah, actually filled in from here on the corners there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, all down through there. Yeah. yeah. How do you get there? Who pays for it? Yeah. And there's so and much. You know, there's so much material there. Yeah. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, I mean, our Jones Brook's like a moonscape, and it's not just all gravel. I mean, it's just boulders, and that's some boulders, and, 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 and then it's it scraped everything right down to the clay bed on the bottom of the river. You know, it's, it's nothing to hold it back anymore. Yeah. So, Ray, you have any? You don't get another one. Oops. That's right. Uh, anything else that we need to? Um, you need to share with us. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make no, sure I think that's, uh, yeah. that's it. Uh, I really need that. Yeah. It's really very patient so we can go forward with those comments. But, uh, you know, we have conversations, you know, permission so slips that we decide yeah. to go forward with going outside mm -hmm. and work outside of the right away. There's procedures we have to follow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thanks for all your work. I mean, You're I mean, certainly Martin helping Martin so that he can focus more on doing yeah, stuff. Work done, you know, yeah. If he had to do what, all this that you're doing, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a, a lot of questions to answer, a lot of yeah. documentation as well, for sure. All right, so why don't we go ahead um, and move okay. on this? Um, hold on, one minute. You, did you need a copy of this here? Uh, just leave. Uh, Okay. Good night, folks. Good night. Thank, Thank you for coming. Sure. All right, we'll leave you here. See you at we'll we'll yeah, yeah. the morning. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 No, thanks. Do come. Do come. Oh, yeah. I hope. Oh, good. <laughs>
All right, so I would um, move to accept the uh, the bid from um, for the project of Wardbrook Road culverts numbers one and two. The bidder was the winning bidder was Avery Excavation from Williamstown. The winning bid was six hundred thirty six thousand four hundred seventy dollars. Um, if anyone wants to read the particulars, uh, here's the contract here, but it includes um, replacement of both of those. Um, someone had asked if it was just the culverts earlier. No, it's um, $636,470 includes installation and everything. Um, is there a second? Did that include, second. Did that, did that, did, did, what for the discussion I have? Go ahead. Does that include the renovation to uh, Hog Hollow Road as well, or no? That's just the culvert. That's itself. just the culvert itself. Yeah, we'll the okay. All right. All right. That's Thank you. furnished and installed. That's what that is. Right. Yes, it is. Furnished and installed. Okay. Thank you. That was a good question. Did they take out the old one too, or the, the temp? Was that part? No, take out whatever. Yeah, there. whatever was there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course. Okay. All in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 John. All right. The ayes have it. So we're ready to go there, right? All right. Thanks, Jay. Hey, Ray, thanks. Did I sign it? If I don't, that's a problem, Carol. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, I, you know what? I, Thank I, you, Kevin. Uh, it was pretty funny. I was supposed to say, I wish he was still here. Cool, Ray? No, uh, this gentleman here. So you have something on that that they've already came through that I got to sign for you. Oh, okay. Thing. I believe that's so right. No, you know, <laughs> just let you know that we're, we are getting things done here. Yeah, yeah. I can see you every day. Yeah. Call me. Great morning. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Call you in the morning. Thank yeah. you, Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we can go skiing. What's morning? Uh, Thursday. 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 Okay, well, there's not much uh, good news here, folks, so I'll just cut to the chase. Um, about a month ago, uh, we were just about ready to go in and uh, do test pits uh, for archaeological test pits. And after contacting the owners of the property where we were considering having a disposal site for the village wastewater, uh, both um, property owners declined to move forward. So we have no place to put a potential um, wastewater um, if we had a system. So we are now at a point where we really don't have any um, viable uh, site for disposal, uh, which uh, basically is, means that we're at a standstill uh, with that. That also means that the ARPA money that we were awarded uh, most likely will move forward in terms of being uh, rescinded. Uh, we haven't gotten a letter about that um, th that I know of. Um, that would normally come to the select board, of which we would get copied. And Tom, I suspect you haven't heard anything no, about that. Okay, all right. So not surprising. Uh, those things move um, glacially at this point. Um, so the one of the the uh, um, what we're going to do at the next uh, uh, clean water committee, as we're called is to work with the engineer to come up with the next um with the end point for the project and the end point will essentially be that um we'll be picking a design with a site that um, um we have taken a look at that's the one on pony farm road uh, and most likely coming up with um with solution numbers for a system that would be placed there um it's not necessarily a recommendation that the committee would make to move forward with that, but it, um, part of the 90% um, report uh, must include a um, a solution for the um, for this particular grant, and the select board will you, it'll be up to you to decide um, whether or not to move forward on that or just to accept the report and then use that uh, in the future uh, if we happen to. Um, come up with a disposal site. Um, things could happen with owners change, uh, property owners changing their mind, uh, property or property changing hands, and the new owners uh, possibly thinking uh, that this would be a, a worthwhile project to to move forward on. Uh, so it's obviously very disappointing for us on the committee who have worked uh, pretty hard on uh, trying to come up with a 
a viable solution for a village wastewater project so that uh, we can protect the, the integrity of the groundwater, but also provide lots of solutions uh, or uh, provide uh, realistic solutions for those in the village who have septic systems that um, may not have um, come to its use, uh, its its uh, end life at this point, but probably will in the relatively near future. Uh, we have um, kind of um, poked around at somewhat uh, unusual solutions, part of which would be, which we um, proposed would be, and, and we proposed this in a letter back in uh, early summer, was to use the money to um, basically um, uh, award grants to to property owners and homeowners in the village to put in their own system um, or or put in the best fit system um, that was not received terribly enthusiastically uh, by the state, uh, but they acknowledged that it was a you know worthy idea um, that uh, we was it felt was pretty creative. Um, the committee also voted to um, dissolve as of the uh, uh, January 31st of this year, 2024. Um, that decision certainly could be uh, could change depending on you know, where we are with the final product of the um, of the grant. You know, so we might extend our um, our committee back. You know, through. Um, so, you know, late winter, early spring, something like that. And that would, um, we wouldn't, and in order to dissolve formally, I think we would need to get permission from the select board. And we're not asking for that at this point because we don't really have a, you know, even though we 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 feel like we have a an end game here at the end of the year, uh, we want, you know, we, we, we can change that if, if we need to. Um, there are still some costs that are coming in from Otter Creek. There will be some more, but, um, we we still have um, a significant amount of funds within the grant uh, or the zero interest loan in order to move forward. And we've been told by the state that if we happen to go over that sum, that there's money in order to support um, any other um, um, studies or, or testing that happens to come up from Otter Creek. So um, it's a sad um, thing to report. Um, especially in light of all the other things that the town is um, having to deal with at this point. But um, if there's any good news is that um, there's, we're not going to be asking for any money. Um, so if, if that is a, a, a bit of a, um, a, 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 yeah, good thing. So anyway, so that's, that's what I have to report out and I'm happy to take any questions or comments. Well, certainly I want to thank you and the committee uh all the work that you've put in. I know it's been a few years of really diligently looking for a solution for, um, for this. Um, although you, you haven't found that now, I think you've put us on a good path um, where we need to look. Uh, so it's, it's not, you know, something that was wasted. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, as, as time goes by, like you said, things will change and there may be some opportunities. Um, but you know, we look forward to you know you guys finishing out, bringing us a, a good closing document, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. That's the that's the plan. Um, Clark, I don't think you should. I think uh, you guys did a really good job, and I think that from the public meeting I went to, uh, I think a, an important takeaway I had from that meeting was two things. One, um, the discussion about how eventually, I mean, the road ahead and how really, you know, this is, as you can see, so many other towns that are planning these. these this is a 10-year plan. So or more. You've laid, or more. So you've laid some of the groundwork, which is great, you know. Um, and the other part of this it, that I heard in that presentation was <clears throat> the feasibility of the municipal water system and how that can be a game changer for the village in terms of what could be available for land in the village for shared systems that the houses could have, you know, multiple houses could have by, you know, not being on private wells. So I thought that was a good little piece of uh, engineering and news to hear that that's a possibility. Yeah, you know, um, it, that, that always sounds very intriguing to the committee when we hear it. And it's generally presented by Otter Creek as, 
reasonably enthusiastically and um, and sincerely, I, I believe. Um, one of the the big issues with that is that um, it's very challenging for small water districts in order to um, be financially viable in the long run. Um, there's a the it's a lot more onerous in terms of the reporting on drinking water systems as opposed to wastewater systems. Interesting, interestingly uh, enough, yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah, I see Callie, sh you know, shaking your head because, you know, you're dealing with that in Berlin. So, you know, I know that, you know, there's lots of, you know, this different scale over there, but, um, you know, drinking water systems are, are really significantly challenging to put in. Um, it's not that we, you know, we're going to probably go down that road and try to find out a little bit more about it. Um, but public drinking water systems are, um, you know, especially here is fairly small. I mean, I think some of you know that, there's uh there is a a water district that was formed in water with uh, Moortown and Duxbury when the water came across the Winooski River uh, to serve that section of Moortown and Duxbury, um, and they had local people that were on that side of the river that were forming the board that took care of that and built people and so on and so forth, and. Um, and and they got to a point where they, no one was volunteering for the board. So they had to go, you know, jump through a couple of hoops so that Waterbury was able to basically take over for um, a lot of the administration um, that you should have been taken care of by the people who are actually in the district. So that's one of the issues with running, you know, a relatively small um, drinking water district. Uh, but anyway, we're going to move forward and try to find out more information about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you again, Clark. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, everybody. Um, we'll be back probably in uh, early October, late September to give another update unless there's something that happens um, uh, significantly in the meantime. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Good night. Thanks. You're welcome. Very good. We're cruising along tonight, folks. So we're moving on to reports. So, Carol, at this point, is there anything that Sasha or Sherilyn shared with you that she wanted us to be aware of? Still um, um, errors and omissions okay. report to approve. Okay, so this, uh, I actually spoke to Cheryl Lynn about this earlier today. Um, and let me tell you what they are. Kathleen Dinette uh, is changing from 518300 to 471000 even. Um, and the reason is they did not correct the site grade to lower value as discussed and notified at pre grievance. So uh, that was something with the listers that uh, the, the appraisers that they had discussed um, pre grievance. And then Jackie and Stephen Yando um, changing from 566600 to $400. Thousand four hundred dollars, um, and they're building a new home, and the percent complete was not accurate at uh, four one. Uh, there were pictures, and subsequently they went back out to take a look, and um, the appraisers agreed. Um, so that's the difference in that one hundred fifty six thousand two hundred dollars <coughs> difference. So I would move to accept uh, the errors of omissions uh, certificate. Um, yeah. On those cases, yeah. just. Discussed. Second. Second. Seconds. We got a couple seconds there. Thank you. Any further discussion on these? Nope. Here and seeing none. All in favor, vote aye. 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 All right. So we got that done. I will sign off. And Don will sign off. And Robin, if you could sign off as well, so that would be the first hey, signatures from oh, yeah. there. Perfect. Temporary. And then these are the rest of our awards. We have a couple million dollars worth of bills oh, tonight, so we will go over that um, you know, at the end of the meeting. We will sign this. And most of them, I think, have been signed off on or looked at. So actually, it's not as daunting as it looks because it's been worked at or I've been looking at them as well. So, um, is there anything else, Carol? Well, yes, this is um, something else for FEMA that needs to be had inside for the EWP program we were talking about earlier. So uh -huh. I will go ahead and 
Yeah, we were getting some uh, background noise there. Sorry, Callie. Right. There, let's so try that. There we go. That sounds good. Did you kick them out of the house I'm now? Say, uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that. You said it's just fine. Um, all right, God, we can talk about it later. Anything else? I don't sure. think so. Probably not. No. No. How shall I? Done. Well, I was just even on the meeting notes, not that, oh, yeah. that we would correct them or anything. I'm not saying that let's go to the meeting notes, but um, are we, is Fox Farm now, uh, is, can we put that, is that happening? Uh, do we know? And yes. As far as we know, oh, that was a little, the, the it was three weeks ago, that meeting, and it was yep. got a, yeah, little was a little contentious, yeah. but right. still, um, I'm wondering if they've gone ahead now to find a contract. And it's not so, so they easy. Did. The culverts were delivered um, like last Friday Great. or Saturday. It, 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 towards the end of the week, they were <laughs> delivered. I actually got a call um, from them um, either Saturday or Sunday, I can remember what it was, but I, I returned the call to Dick and they actually wanted the town to move the culverts from his property to down the road or this and that. Um, however, because We've got two guys out on vacation. Right, and all the equipment he, and all the equipments are yeah. out, so we, we can't do that. Yeah. But um, so that's all I can tell you. But okay, they so are. There, there, is, there has been some some movement. Okay, there. yeah. Well, I just hey. don't want to. You know, we don't want to see the school. No, I think that's great. No, I think. Um, and, and I think the school got involved. Oh, good. And good. So I think they, they, you know, because they were the ones that were being affected most. Yeah. And so there was well, agreement. I yeah. think reached there. Yeah. Okay. And well, I know the other property owners that were here as well. So, you know, I think, I think they, you know, finally realized that. <laughs> oh, yeah. they well, I think they finally realized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, great. There was, uh, you know, again, it was three weeks since we last been here, but I believe it was last week, and I'm just trying to. Put it in the yeah. right place. There was that letter that from FEMA, where it was a sample letter from that was in, from uh, Williston or something, or the. For it's just talking about, I guess, part of the whole flood mitigation thing or something. I I don't know. It was, it was like to you and, or to Sasha and to the board or something or. Uh, I, I, I when say it's it. come in, we've. No, no, I, yep. uh, uh, no, I understand. I was you just trying to. That email. What? I know the email you're referring to, the samples letter or something. I, I wasn't exactly. Yeah, sure I was just it. wondering, is that just to? Uh, yeah. I, okay. Well, I don't know. One of the, and I, I'm not sure exactly what letter could be talking about. It was one letter that. Ray, and I think you've seen it here, Rob, and I was just looking at it, um, as far as when we started doing the excavation with the, the sediment excavation, there was a yeah, letter yeah, yeah. that we had to come up with that, um, have you seen this at all, or what it would look yeah, like? Ray gave yeah, Ray gave it Okay, yeah. so you did Yeah, so I don't think I was, communicated was, with you. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, so yeah. I just want, I didn't know, I'm just trying to No, there was something that. else that Sasha yeah. had circulated. I'm and sorry, and I can't. Sample of a FEMA something, and I don't know. I'm sure Ray's handling Anything that I was just curious what you know because I know we haven't there hasn't been a, a release of FEMA funds yet right so right uh, I'll, I'll find it and resend it to yeah. that you know, yeah get it all. as far as I've no there's no there, there hasn't no. been any you know it hasn't more been released, grants yeah. as far as individual property owners the only thing other thing that we needed to get yeah. uh, and maybe this is what you were talking about so we were looking to get some money released from last year 
FEMA. And right. Is that oh, through, through and, uh, Senator Welch, right? Right. And we also, there was some mitigation that we wanted to do. Right. And they weren't allowing us um, to go ahead and get the funds until that kind of mitigation had been approved. Right. We had an exact plan. Yeah. And so Ray did submit that okay. for the mitigation so that we get the Some of that money last year's yeah, funds. Yeah. Not that it's, I mean, it's a drop in the bucket compared to what? Yeah, it's 400,000 that we're looking for, so it's, it's good. But yeah, Don, if you come through with I'll, I'll try to find the letter and okay. send it back. That's yeah. fine. Um, did, I think you, did Mike Brown catch up with you and get you to sign yeah. the forestry management plan? Yeah, so he sent it to me on DocuSign, I sent it all. And I got something back recently that was all done. I mean, it so was we're, we're done. Just it's, recently, yeah. Yeah. It's, okay, so we've got to We can put now. that away. We've done it. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. Sasha gets back, we'll, we'll have it like a formal thing check. so we can be, make sure that. But okay. All right, so I'll just okay. bring it up at the next meeting. Okay. Okay. I think it is. Um, you did catch up with me. I signed. Great. Perfect. Um, you know, again, think the, the floods and all that stuff that we're dealing with has kind of put some stuff on the back burner, rightly so. Yeah. But maybe, and it's summer to boot, but maybe in the fall we can just spend a 10 minutes or something just talking about the new open meeting law. Yeah, just so that we all sure. get a handle on it and we can also sort of make sure our committees all and committees everybody's are aware all and we're given yeah, the right sure. information. Yeah, that. And we, you know, because yeah. I've read it, but still, you know, it's, it would be helpful to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's, you know, that's yeah. something we really need to make time for because yeah. while well, we can keep pushing, it's easy to push down the road, but it's something vital to yeah. uh, make sure that we're doing things correctly and, yeah. and that our so committees back, are as well. You know, down the road and um, cause us problems. So. Yeah, so we got to. So that's a good change. Yeah, um, just a little yeah. keep it on a, keep it on the radar. So is that something. one? Of the, um, I don't think yeah. it's in the old. Yeah, it's in the old business. Is it yeah, in the old business? Yeah. So that's something we can just make sure we really pay right. attention. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, that's good to know. Is there I anything, always is there, but, No, I know. But is there anything like hanging out that we should be? Well, we did get the report again, you know, at our last meeting. So we haven't really had a chance. I haven't certainly had a chance to digest what the class four road trails team, a committee, oh, right, put together. So you know, I've I've glanced at it. I have it right here. They yeah, gave us all a copy, but yeah. wasn't sure what what's next. Sort of what we, you know. That's I've looked at that as well. well. I think. Probably in a month or so, we should probably. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's yeah. a lot with all. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. There's a lot know. of moving targets. I have to say that it was kind of. I made this three weeks was different than this was lo the longest three weeks that I've felt that we've had off because the way August felt the, funny. The way it was July 30th, July 29th last Monday. Right. So we actually had a whole nother week, you know, yeah, before. Yeah. So it was like. And you know, someone, in July, yeah, was select one meeting yeah. tonight. I go, no. In July, it was like on the first too, wasn't well, it? Are you missing? Well, no. It was just as I yeah. knew that so much Big was going on yeah, with the I floods, know. and I was just like, wow, you know, it's this is a tough time for us all to be, you know, in a three week mode, right? So, anyways, uh, that's that's good for now, I guess. Good. Yeah, because we got them slated to come back in August. <laughs> Which is yeah. August. <laughs> August. <laughs> oh, we, have who? we have who to come back? Oh, yeah. It's on the meeting yeah, from last right. year. The later meeting, perhaps August. I'm like, okay. Well, I saw that as well. Yeah. Pencil in September. <laughs> All right, John. Okay. How about yourself? No, I'm just checking, uh, Don, what's going on with uh, Michelle with the crosswalk? With the crosswalk? In the village. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I've, I've been in touch with her again about the Maynards, but I haven't really chat with, chatted with her about the crosswalk. I mean, just, just getting the Maynards thing. Uh, she, wanted, she wanted to. Said that she would visit in the spring. Yeah, she said she would do it, you know, for sure. Um, I can send, I'll send her an email. Um, okay. I was really hoping they were going to pave the, the Maynard's little culver thing there when they did the bridge. Right. Like it was right there. And we tried, to, we tried to expedite that, but 
It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I mean, it would have literally been like, you know, 10, ten wheel barrels right? or something. Yeah. You know, just bring a roller up there. Just, yeah. Anyways. Yes, John. Not Thanks the contract, for, thank right? you for the yeah. reminder. Oh, that's a different Especially point. with school coming. That's yeah. a good point, John. I'll give her a call. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about the library grant, Don? Anything on those? No, I don't no, worry. Thumbs yeah. up or thumbs down? At least no, I mean, we filed, they asked us for more information. Okay. Back at the beginning of the summer, we scrambled to get all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, we haven't heard, cool. we've checked in. And, well, you know, at least we haven't heard no. So. Yeah, that's the bottom that's line right. there, buddy. That's what I'm not counting on. So. Yeah. So good. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, so I had a, um, an email the other day from the governor's office inviting me to a meeting this Wednesday um, with him and some of his cabinet members to discuss um, actually public safety in town. And I would say more lack thereof public safety in town. Um, so I accepted, however, I'm, I don't think I can make it. So I'm hoping, Don, that this is something maybe you could step in and do. What? Be in Berlin. I'll give you all. It's. I, I think it's right around noon. Um, noon Wednesday. This, this this Wednesday. Yeah, for sure. Uh. Um, okay. I, I have a meeting at twelve thirty, but I can change that. I think. It's, yeah. Whatever. Wait a second. I can. August seventh. Wednesday, August. 7th. That would be Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. At twelve thirty to one thirty at the Dill Building. 2178 airport. You can send that email yeah, to me? Okay, because I'd rather do that. They wanted to make it small, so they said just you come or your dead and me, so that's. <laughs> unless one of you guys and this is you can rock, paper, scissors. Public, is this public safety um, I can't do one for, for uh, roads or for people's? Homes or uh, the, the governor homes. would just like to, the governor would like to have an opportunity to engage with local uh, municipal leaders, uh, mayors or select board chairs, to hear what you are seeing and experiencing regarding public safety incidents in your communities. So, uh, one person, you know, I might you might speak to Cheryl Lynn. She had, um, you know, an incident where there were some things going on. She called, and you know, there should basically the pound sand and it was right. something that was actually serious you know but when she called the state police right you know? oh. um, okay I'll so it's just i think that he's trying to get a feel, a feel for right? how we're doing okay. you know um and we have i've requested some state police help up on um, a couple of roads up on the mountain we've had some complaints so all right and so i follow up over the weekend and they haven't seen anyone so just trying to, I think yeah. this is a good opportunity to share that, you know, we realize there is a shortage in the state right now of resources, of yeah. resources but there's also a great need yeah. for public safety. And, you know, they've taken away yeah. the, the powers of a constable um, yeah. so that, you know, and I know there's lots of problems. You get people that get voted as a constable that now think they're the sheriff and can do anything they want. So. Yeah. Um, but there has to be a, something that we can enhance our public safety without compromising our public yeah, safety. Yeah, no, I, but, I, know, I agree 100%. I mean, so, uh, it'll be interesting you know, even with the, 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 the county sheriffs, that, that whole system, they yeah. stretch to the... Okay. So those guys, the sheriffs will be there too. And I think they'll, so that'll be a good I mean, and there's so much need now. There's just so many, you know, between that non-house people and the addiction problem and just the you know psychotic people roaming the streets of vermont now i mean it's really disconcerting to think about to know that when you call the police nobody's going to show up i mean we've had people screaming outside our house at three o'clock in the morning you know and and gotten no response you know i mean i'm literally sitting on the step with a loaded double barrel shotgun you know telling the guy that back off or whatever and, and nobody nice. shows up. Yeah, nobody, nobody shows Maybe up. Maybe you should go to this. My neighbor's, yeah. house, my <laughs> neighbor's <laughs> house was on fire yesterday. It took about 40 minutes for the fire trucks to get there. Was that our fire truck? Well, 
Uh, well, no, it was actually Middlesex. No, I would wish they had sent our guys. They would have been there in no time. No, it was Middlesex that finally showed up. They, they were the first, what, did you call, you called 911? Well, we called 911 and they dispatched you away to side to the spot. Oh. So. They, we had a fire out at that point, you know. Oh, they couldn't. So. I don't know, Robin. You might be. I can't make it Wednesday. I'm sorry. I have a. I'm. I'm finally working full time right now, and I can't oh, jeopardize yeah. that. So, yep. first time since the pandemic. So, I'm kind of. Okay. Well, I have. No, I, I do have a meeting at in Burlington at 12:30 on Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure I can reschedule it to okay. another time. Excellent. I appreciate so, that. Well, if you can send me the information, yep. and, you know. And if I, and I'll look again tonight if. Some reason I see where, but I've just had a bunch of, you know, it's just, and I took a couple of days off the end of last week, it was not a good idea. And, uh, mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. I, I, um, I might be able to, I wasn't, I was going to wait and just bring this update up to you ne at the next meeting to the board, but, and I'm still trying to digest the meeting I had with VTrans and the Central Vermont Regional Planning. Mm -hmm. uh, Commission or whatever about our letter that we wrote for traf the traffic counting letter and um, so maybe I can bring maybe yeah. bring up a couple of points with Governor Scott but um, right, those are they are going to uh, just briefly they are going to work on some signage because they do agree there's some signage issues on us on the 100B as you know and Route Two right. But um, interestingly enough, uh, in reviewing some of the speeds, they didn't, they, we could still go to the Vermont Traffic Committee, but the players in the room from VTrans and mainly from VTrans didn't think that the changes that we were asking would make any difference, you know? But it wasn't really their call, we could still go you know, we could keep going, you know, either right. a September meeting or just or a December meeting. I said, well, maybe we won't be quite ready for September, but maybe we'll do December. We'll think about it, you know. Like a, well, I undoubtedly you know, think at least that Route 2 corridor change would make Well, they are. They're changing that to 45. Okay, that, would, land. that would make a huge difference. That's a change. Opinion. Okay. But um, just the, the, the two, the speed on both sides of coming into the village. Right. I was surprised that they didn't think that uh, yeah. this change we were suggesting that 35 from like yeah. um, before you hit the Speed intersection up yeah. here and then come down into your 30 zone and on the other side where it's 50 still after Stevens Brook, right. but, you know, by yeah. your driveway it still says 50 and then, you know, then it goes to 40 and of course, you know, we all know how people come zooming into the town. Um, and I was surprised to think that they didn't think dropping that to the 40 at Stevens Brook and the 35 through the curves and then 30 before uh, by Murphy Road, mm. they, I, I was, they didn't think it would make a difference. And I go, I, I didn't agree with them. So. You can bring it on. Yeah. And even some of their, oh, I don't have it with me, I'll bring it next meeting. They, some of the... Um, speed data they had showed that people were going faster in those zones. Yeah, uh, which I don't is know. why you want to... I think they changed, I think they have changed already on Route 2, the signs. Yes, they have, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I noticed that the other day. Right? Yeah, they've changed it. It was, boom, and they even put up the, the pedestrians ahead sign that was agreed to from 2022, just oh, before Gallagher okay. Acres. So yeah, yeah. That's good, exactly. too. Yeah, no, no, I mean, and they're going to look at 100B for having some better signage, both for speed and for pedestrian bicycles. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a start. I mean, yeah. you know. But anyways, I still think. Just have to read the news and you know there's a problem. I mean, it was funny. The, I mean, you know. the meeting, you know, during the, 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 that meeting was, I think, last a week ago, Monday. Uh -huh. And a couple of days before that, someone went off the road in the curves. <laughs> you know, it was okay. Um, anyways. Let me, hey, Callie, do you have anything you want to uh, bring up or share or anything exciting for us? No, not really. I think it was kind of interesting hearing about the water system because the, running a water system is a whole different ballgame and it's not, 
not cheap at all. And you have to have a certified operator mm. on site or contract with a certified operator to be able to run it, do all the maintenance, treat the water. So. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's not an easy It's solution. a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's nothing that we're going to be doing anytime soon. So Yeah, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it was nice that it was brought up and such. But if you've got nothing else or nothing there, um, I don't think there's anything that I have. So I guess we just have some warrants to do. Um, there's a service agreement here that comes from the fire department. Uh, this is the Seam Solutions um, for the, uh, update the town local hazard mitigation plan for submission to FEMA for approval. So forget what I just said about the fire department. Um, between the town and more town and Seam Solutions. Description of services beginning July 19th, Seam Solutions LLC will provide the town and more town the following services. Um, that's the recommendation that right that they gave us last week to go with these guys for the town mitigation as right mitigation yep. plan. We voted to go I with it, but I don't think we signed it. I think yeah, we approved, it. It. We approved okay. it last. Yeah, well, here it is. All right, bids were received. John and Karen said, right, 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 yes, yes, I'm sorry. We may have been in, uh, my, uh, yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> 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 that's, just, uh, that's why I'm no, here, not, that's why I'm here. here. <laughs> why Carol is here. Yeah. 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 So I always need someone to keep me straight, because sometimes I just totally get mushy. I know. And, and it's been a long day. So, all right. Um, so we're going to, uh, how about, the mean 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 minutes for um, July uh, 15th. I did not see any. Is there a motion to approve? Uh, well, there is a motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. All right. Is there any discussion on it? All right, if there's no discussion, all in favor of the meeting minutes for uh, July 15th, 2024, please uh, say aye. 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 Okay, everyone, thank you. Old business, I think we've exhausted that list. Yeah. And there's, is there anything new that anyone has? In... Thank you. No? All right. Oh. Sorry. Did you have, like did you have any... Um... Did you get a chance to look into the, anything about food trucks at all? Or? A little bit. Um, well, it's been a little crazy. I know. It's been a little crazy. Um, I didn't. Uh, I reached out to VLCT to see if they had any information. Okay. Some some towns do handle it through zoning, although I'm really not quite sure how. And then a lot of towns do do it as a as an ordinance outside of zoning. Okay. Because you, you, for each one, you've kind of got to establish, okay, you can go for 30 days at this spot, or you want to right. do a week here, or you want to do Saturdays here. I, I think it just makes more sense at this level yeah. to get an ordinance in place and use it. If I have not seen a truck there again. No, I haven't seen them there for a while now, too, of course, the weather. There was yeah. no swimming for about two right. and a half weeks. Yeah. So. Or three weeks, so yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just something we will we should keep on the radar. If it, right, um, I think it should know, stay on the on the all these all these were goodies. Yeah, someday you'll rise to the <laughs> either that or we'll go get a taco. One. Yes, <laughs> tacos. All right. Uh, so this <laughs> is. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> and there's a fifth hundred thousand right there. This is just. Uh, this they know when I came in last week and signed, I was signing for like six hundred thousand. Yeah. Like, this one here, eight hundred eighty-eight thousand six hundred sixty. Paid for the order of Thomas Martin. <laughs> so if we don't, if. So th this is, we're dealing with this with our bank loan, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, if, if no, no FEMA funds come available, <laughs> like, do we? I think we're all talk resigning. Have right <laughs> you ever heard of the, the acronym SOL? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Right <laughs> right. Now. Oh, yeah, right. Right. I'm going to have to hand it off to the next budget. <laughs> yeah. what, is, what else are we going to do? Just the interest. People are going to be able to drive down the road. I mean, I don't oh, know yeah, what else we're supposed to do. No, I got it. I yeah. know, but holy mackerel, you know? So we only need to sign the front page. Yeah, I love that. The new progressive commercial about every, the people that are obsessed by the weather. It's like, <laughs> yeah. As, as we are oh, right here. here. <laughs> no, this was the, uh, take these? Oh, I already signed that. Uh, it's Fish River. <laughs> There's another half a million here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Another half. So what, what, just like Ray said, we're about two million? Yeah. Two million, yeah. Well, this is just our payroll. So this is only a hundred payroll. Yeah, that's, you know. That's all the, day, all the days when the guys can no, do it all. They also have all, all I, I called the guys and said, hey, we gave you guys a raise. How come you guys can't get this done? Why are they all paying 600 grand? Of overtime. <laughs> well, yeah. Tons of overtime. And this one, this last one is 135,000. Well, let's see. I'd rather pay our guys a ton of overtime than pay somebody else 600 grand. Did I already grand. sign that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah start with 100,000, 888, 532, and... 600. Six, 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 so what is that all at? What's that quickly? 5, 6, 12. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of that's, money. That's what, like a million and a half just hit tonight? Yeah, I'm almost one. Yeah, a little over 1.5 million. I'm resigning. Don, John, John. Don, you signed this one twice. What? You signed I signed it twice? Yeah. Well, but not at all. No, don't grab that one. I grab this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, I keep using this it. This is a pencil, though. I can't find it. A pencil. Look right here. Oh, oh yeah, Tom's in the middle of that one. Yeah, I'm just checking these out a little bit. I saw them once earlier, but I'd like to make sure nothing's new. So after that, that you know, I'm bitching that guy's. <laughs> oh, the edge drive, Mr. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! What? Now I feel like Carol's been over there. That's just four of them. It is. I mean, you know, it's 15 a feet down, and then the ground, <laughs> the water is just coming out of the ground at the bottom of the Right, and rushing out across it, and all that material, and all that material went in, in, into people's homes. Or up against people's homes. Cars. cars. Yeah, homes. their cars and stuff. Yeah. So what are all those folks doing? <sighs> and those people, they're on the top, they're on the two basically. I don't know what, else is that all. I know. what kind of compensation do they make that? You know, that they're looking to dump. Right? Are they looking to those two homeowners to compensate them for all the stuff? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, this is all materials in here? Uh, it's not all materials, but I mean, they're, they're depending if you're looking at some of them, it's materials. There's, no, I, yeah, yeah, there's I, culverts, there's, there's mix, there's trucking, a little bit of There's there. equipment, there's some eye care, and some stuff. Trucking, oh my god. something that Ray wrote up for me. Ray wrote up like we were doing uh, yeah. any kind of 
gravel and gravel yeah. extraction. This is the leather that we would use for ceramics. Okay. All right, so I think that's it, folks. John and Kelly, you guys all set? I'm all set. All right. Yep. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate Great. you guys uh, tuning in with us. Take care, guys. Um, have a good night. We'll see everyone fairly soon. How are you, John? How are you feeling before we sign off? You get feeling better? Um, no, <laughs> not really. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's, it really is a comedy of errors. I mean, pretty much it'll be one year now in early November, and that's the new date for surgery. Oh, wow. That's the whole, amazing. That's because I had these blood clots. Yeah. And they didn't want to do the surgery until the blood clots are gone. But then when the blood clots are gone, all the yeah. surgeries are taken. Mm -hmm. wow. so, well, stay strong to carry on. It's yeah. the best thing, at least I, right. I'll tell you. Home health and uh, hospice is wonderful. They, they've been coming and so on. It really has helped me. Yeah. Keep me, me strong. Strong. Moving. Good. That's good to hear. I know yeah. we support them. Um, so it's just a good thing. I'm glad they're there for you at this point. Yeah. Thank you, John. Me too. Okay. All right. So I move to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor. All right. Vote aye. All right. Yeah. Aye. Thank aye. you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.